Hey Sagittarius, so um, we're doing three things that are happening in love, okay? And I do feel like this is really talking about, well, there's several things going on here, which we will figure out, but um, definitely this is talking about a, some of you may be in a separation with someone, you know, um, I'm sorry to say that all these past energies are playing out I'm seeing them in the readings everywhere so it's not just me <laughs> it's not just me but we're gonna take a look at it um one thing is done completion lesson learned with denial <laughs> I feel like someone or it could be you Saj thinks that you're done with this you're done with this person you're done with and you may just really be in denial um you know I, I feel like you want to be done you know you want to call it a day so you can move on with your life but i i also think you might not be facing the truth um but we're gonna see you know let's clarify that a little bit and see what we need to see about this completion and denial. It could be that this person isn't done with you yet. <laughs> Actually, you know, or maybe you decided to call it a day because this person um, was in denial about your connection. But let's see. We're going to see. We're going to see. So why is done here? For Sagittarius. Why is done here for Sagittarius? Healing heart. Yeah, this person hurt you. Okay, and you you are you're healing. Tell me about this denial. Because this, you know, this could be could have been toxic, honestly. Tell me about denial. Tell me about denial, please. Denial. Yeah. Um, I feel like for a long time, maybe you didn't face the truth about this, but this was, um, this was a mirror. <laughs> This was a mirror, probably someone who was selfish, was um, one-sided. And I feel like for a long time you didn't face the truth on it. Um, and Dragonfly showed up reversed. And Dragonfly is really about things coming to light. Yeah, I just kind of feel like that denial was you just didn't want to admit the truth about it. Um, mm. <laughs> so next is soulmate, separation, and stay optimistic. This is definitely a soulmate for you. Um, I don't really feel like it's a karmic partner. You know, I just feel like this person's selfish, honestly. <laughs> and um, you're trying to just maintain. You know, you know this is a soulmate for you, and separation with a soulmate is difficult. And so you're just trying to be in the energy of something better is going to come along, right? I think that's a good space to be. But let's see. Tell me about the separation. Let's tell me about the soulmate. Tell me about the soulmate for Sagittarius. Camera, reminiscing, keepsake, learn from the past. I feel like you maybe still um, check in on them, look at them. Um, you may be thinking about them right now. Um, oh, but there's a sudden change. <laughs> Let's see. What's a sudden change? 
Maybe it's because you decide to be positive. Maybe they're, this sudden change is positive. Tell me about the sudden change. What is this sudden change? Yeah, I mean, in the midst of trying to be positive about things, and especially with things to come, you start just like reliving your life. With girl talk, maybe you're getting out, um, being around friends. You know, you start getting in the mood of having fun. Um, and I think this is because you decide to be positive. I think literally be deciding to be positive about it, even though you're still thinking about that person, even though this is difficult really helps because then you start putting yourself back out there in the world but coffee cup is here that could mean that you meet up with this person tell me about coffee cup no i feel like what you're starting to realize is through talking with friends getting together with friends um you're starting to realize that you just need to move on um, because the Grim Reaper is here, you, you realize that this relationship is over. And it's time to move on, right? So finally, new love is appearing, Sag. New love. And this can be someone you're rekindling something from the past with, because it's definitely someone that you have feelings for. Um... It's a past life partner. So either this is a past life partner or this is someone from your past. But let's see. Let's see. Tell me about this new love for Sagittarius. Tell me about this new love for Sagittarius. Tell me about this new love for Sagittarius. Okay. Ugh. mirror and runner I feel like this person might scare you at first tell me about this new love because there's a fear of intimacy tell me about this new love <coughs> love is here I feel like you might at first run from love here. Um, and maybe it's because of this past experience, you know. But we're going to see what the tarot has to say. See what the tarot has to say. What does the tarot have to say? Sagittarius on love. I think you kept thinking this person was going to change, but it didn't. Your past person. So tell me about completion. Tell me about completion. Hmm. Tell me about completion. Yeah, I mean, you've been healing. This is all about healing. Like the Three of Pentacles, putting the work in, right? It could be also that other people are helping you to heal from the past. Um, this could have been in regard, maybe there was a third party, maybe there were other people, um, but you're releasing all of this, all of this, the sadness and the resentment and everything that you felt. I mean, and it's uncomfortable, right? It's uncomfortable, but this is part of your awakening and we're seeing like so much completion energy. And so tens again, right? Yeah. You're really taking care of yourself taking care of yourself.
Tell me about this soulmate separation for Sagittarius. Soulmate separation. Two of Swords. Tell me about the soulmate separation. I feel like you didn't want to face that this was over. Tell me about the soulmate separation. Ace of Cups. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. I feel like you were very reluctant to let this go. Yeah. You were really reluctant to let this go with the Two of Swords. And actually, you thought it was going to start over again. And you were open to that. Your heart literally stayed open to this person. You know, but I really feel as if it's friends here and other people and just getting out into life made you realize that this person is not growing. This is not changing. You know, they might be growing, but this situation is not going to change. And you know that. It's lovers is on the bottom with the Ten of Wands. Like, it's just... Like, this is a soulmate, and you have a lot of love for this person. It's almost like there's too much that happened. You know, the Ten of Wands is a burden. You know, it, it it's a soulmate, but it's heavy. It's heavy, you know. Anything else about the separation? High Priestess. You know this. <laughs> you know this. But you may have been in some denial about it. So tell me about this new love for Sagittarius. Tell me about this new love. Tell me about this new love. Oh. Six of Pentacles. This is someone who wants to give. Tell me about this new love. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Tell me about this new love for Sagittarius. Four of Pentacles. This is literally what you've been waiting for. You know, maybe you asked the universe for it, right? Six of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles. This is someone who wants to give. Like, they they want to bring you stability. They're offering it to you. And, you know, Four of Pentacles, this is what you've been waiting for, but also I kind of feel like you might be holding back. So tell me more about the Nine of Pentacles. Or the Four of Pentacles. What's that all about? <laughs> Four of Pentacles. Yeah. You're holding back because you're still recovering. You're still recovering. Um, you're still kind of releasing the pain from, you know, the separation. So what will happen next with this new love? New love. Oh, two of cups. <laughs> this this is a divine partner. This is going to turn to love. This is your partner, Sage. The world. Uh-oh. Wow. So tell me about past life. Oh, temperance. Oh, my goodness. Look, two of cups and temperance. This is your divine partner. So tell me about past life, partner. 
the star, past life partner, literally your wishes come true, two of wands, hmm. why is the two of wands here, I kind of feel like this person um, might not be your usual type. Tell me about the Two of Wands. <sighs> wow, Sag. So as far as past life partner, um, the star is here. Okay, so, you know, literally you do start to feel really good about it you do um this is definitely new this is a new love but this is a past life partner you've had a past with them before right two of wands and the knight of pentacles and you do have to like make a decision whether or not you're going to take this road with them again because you know I feel like you walked the path with this person and it may be something that never went anywhere in the past maybe because they're younger than you tell me about the knight of pentacles Oh my goodness, the fool and the sun. <laughs> this is literally a new opportunity, a happiness, Sag. And this is someone you feel inspired by. It could be an Aquarius, it could be a Leo, it could be an R sign. And I feel like this person may also be at a distance from you, right? Because the two of wands with the knight of pentacles, they may be at a distance from you. Um, it's a really different path for you. But I do also feel like you have walked a path with this person before. Maybe in a past life, you know, and it's merely about putting the time in you may feel like you know okay so the two of wands definitely there may be something that has to do with moving here it could also be that this person is very different from your experience this person moves a lot slower right um they are younger than you and that may you know cause some issue i mean let's see how you view this new person But this is a very strong love match, Sag. <gasps> Ten of Pentacles. <sighs> With the Seven of Cups. Because, you know, and maybe it is their age that puts you here. And I swear I've seen this in one of my readings before. Um, because you want marriage. Ten of Pentacles. You want marriage. You want the whole thing. You want stability. And so you may still be of the mind where you want to kind of look at your options. <laughs> That's Sagittarius for you. <laughs> so what is the outcome here? What is the outcome for Sagittarius? The Emperor. What is the outcome for Sagittarius? The outcome for Sagittarius. Yeah, I feel like there's something, um, Okay, 
Okay, so the Emperor, right, with the Nine of Cups and the Five of Wands, right? It could be that other people have a lot to say, you know, um, that may actually cause resistance. But I see a determination here with the Emperor for you to not let anything stand in the way of your happiness. Oh, Sag. Well, that was the Ace of Wands. I can't find it now. <laughs> but you're definitely going for it. Oh, my goodness. And look, here's the Empress <laughs> with the Page of Wands. So even though people may not be for it, you, you may be encountering a lot of resistance from the people around you, maybe because this person is younger or whatever, but this person makes you happy and you're taking control of your happiness. You're taking control of your happiness and saying, you know what, whatever, I'm going for this because this person is my divine partner. The Empress with the Emperor, that's a power couple. That's a power couple. Yes, he is younger, but yes, I'm going for it. I'm doing it. I'm taking the path, you know, and this is completely new, I feel like. With the Page of Wands being here, that's jumping in. Jumping in even though you don't know how it will end up, right? You don't know how it will end up because you've been through a lot, Sag. You've been through a lot and you're, you want, you know what, can you've been working on calling your power back after disappointment, after disappointments have happened and you've been in healing and now you're ready to love. You're ready to love and you're fighting for love. With the five of swords. And even though this person is younger you know, and maybe, you know, because they are the Knight of Cups. <laughs> they are younger. That's definitely, they definitely show up as a knight. You are like, well, whatever. This, this is where I'm meant to go. Okay, this is where I'm meant to go. And you're jumping in. Okay. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Saj. Good luck and love.